the first thing you want to look at is your regional center's current service standards. A lot of regional centers already have an entry in their service standards for an inclusion aid. So for example, your child is attending um, a community camp, but they need, like the camp is not really, has not historically had a lot of kids with disabilities. And so they kind of need some guidance on how to make sure that they're being inclusive. Some of the regional centers already have that in their service standards um, for an inclusion aids that, that is meant to be phased out where that person would go in and kind of give in, like be the one-to-one -one aid for now, but also give instruction to the program so that they don't need that in the future. Um, what a lot of our kids need at, in any kind of program like that is a behavioral aid. Right. And that, that needs to come from the behaviorist and from, from the behavior plan. Um, the recommendation and the, the justification for those additional services need to come from, from the behavior plan. So they, they need to look at the program. Number one, look at the program and make sure that it's, if, if the child has a lot of behaviors, make sure that it's a safe and appropriate setting for the child. Um, and also explain why they need the behavioral support in that setting in order to access the program and fully participate.